you expect me talking about my honest opinion of the pros and cons of studying in a virtual university. But I just want to throw out some tips for you to prepare for your online university next year or next semester, which is first. I've also checked my timetable for my second semester. I only have of lectures a week. It's just so hard to actually do right now. Therefore, I'm glad that we don't have that. The grading has become more Most of the assessment hasn't decreased I don't know why, but I feel like I have a lot less because of online university. And that really has a difference in how you consume the whole module. everyone hope everyone's doing well today i am filming another video for you guys and for this video it is going to be a chit chat video i thought i want to talk about my experience studying at the university of sheffield during a uk lockdown as a final year student basically i officially finished my first semester of my academic year i have submitted all my assessment and everything and now i'm going to start my next semester in a few weeks so i have a little break by break i mean i still need to work on my dissertation and also my master's application etc the stress is continuous but i managed to find a little bit of time for me to just sit down and just relax and just chill and have a chat with you guys because that's something i like to do so in this video you'll expect me talking about my honest opinion of the pros and cons of studying in a virtual university since many of you guys are going to start university and i feel like september fingers crossed things will be normal but then if your university life is going to be virtual at least you know what to expect and i'm going to throw in some tips to make your experience a bit easier through my experience and how i've adjusted throughout and what i've learned in this whole journey so basically this video is just going to be me talking about my online university experience with me being in the uk during lockdown i didn't manage to go back home at all so i've been in the uk since the start of the semester to now which is a long time it's the longest i've been away from home for so long but i'm really grateful for aaron my boyfriend i think you've seen him in so many of my video because right now i am living with him and i am in his bedroom right now so this is a different location it was really hard for me to find a good spot to film because the sun is shining directly on me if you can't you can see the like it is sunny in Sheffield for once. It just took me a while to find a good location with a decent lighting. But anyway, I'm blabbering again. Let's get on with this video. That's the first thing I wanted to say is, I don't know why, but I feel like I have a lot less lectures because of online university. I don't know if it is because I am a third year student now and university throw me a lot of independent studying time so I don't have a lot of like lecture hours. But then I feel like most of the people that complain in university blogs and stuff, they do say that they have less lecture because of the online university environment. And that's why they are asking for a deduction of university fee because they have less contact time virtually. So why do they need to pay the same? So that's something I agree to and I've noticed. Basically, Basically, for last semester, I only had four hours a week maximum, sometimes even less sometimes. In like a week with nothing, then I only have two hours. So bare minimum is two hours a week and maximum is four hours a week. And I've only had one face-to-face -face lecture that happened twice, basically. And then everything just couldn't be face-to-face because -face there's a lockdown and all that. And then there was a spike in cases and just many things. So face-to-face -face lecture could happen, but it probably isn't sustainable. My only face-to-face -face lecture was a career help thing. It wasn't an academic lecture. It's more like, how do you write um, dissertation? How do you write a good CV, that kind of thing. But I still went because I just wanted to see people. It was helpful but it doesn't have to be face-to-face -face because I don't have any laboratories like medics or dentistry students so I can finish my whole degree online technically but it's just kind of bad just seeing a screen all the time to finish my degree so obviously I still do prefer having face-to-face -face lectures some modules do work really well in an online teaching environment. I think this really based on how lucky you are, what professor you get. Because some professors are really engaging in a video. They probably have some background in like recording themselves. They just 
know how to present themselves. The background looks nice, the lighting looks nice, and most of them are pre-recorded, so everything is so nice and prepared. But some lecturers are just really boring. They literally sit in front of their webcam with a really bad lighting, and everything is just really disengaging. They just read out of a PowerPoint. So it just depends who you get for your lecturer for that module and that really has a difference in how you consume the whole module. I think I've kind of touched upon this when I brought you guys to go to an online seminar with me. I showed you guys one of my favorite online seminars. You can press here to have a look. I basically show you guys how it kind of works and what to expect in an online seminar and I enjoy it but then obviously I do prefer having a face-to-face -face seminar. Like lectures virtually it might work because you don't really interact that much in face-to-face -face lecture anyway you just sit and consume but seminar i feel like it just doesn't compare like a virtual one just isn't good since if you are split into breakout rooms i've mentioned this in my like online seminar video no one really talks and if someone talks you start talking and you both clash and then both stop and then you don't know when to start talking because you can't tell if she's or he is going to start talking because no one turned on the camera too so it's just a really weird form of communication without any body language about anything it's just you have to just listen it just makes it so difficult and so awkward some lecturers are really caring and they give you extra office hours to book in some just doesn't really do much so I, get, I feel like my point still stand it just depends on what lecturer you get and that really will impact your overall experience in an online learning environment it's not really the university because you can't really say this university is really good with online teaching and this isn't because there are so many little things about a university that makes it different so like one of my module i love one of my module i hate it's just what lecture you get and what energy they present to you and that really impacts the way you consume their content one thing i noticed for my university is that they have shown more light on mental health and their awareness on mental illnesses and things like that which is good because i follow their instagram and i keep up with most of the email and they, they, they do touch upon mental mental health services and mental well-being a lot which i appreciate i've never used any one of their service because i don't think i need it and i would want to give the resources to people that needs it more than i do i don't i sometimes feel sad lonely and down but not to the point where i think i need to use the facilities because i know it is really high in demand and i would give it to someone who needs it more i know there are services but i've heard that it is very hard to book a meeting with a therapist or whatever that's free I've never tried it, but I know my university do have a lot of services because of the lockdown, because everything has moved online, because of self-isolation. They do take an account of that, but I don't know if the service is good because I've never tried it, so I don't have a say on that. Ooh, my legs are so numb. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I noticed for my university, obviously, is that I'm just gonna sit, is that the grading has become more lenient. Most of the assessment has a decreased word count now. I have no exam because I deliberately chose module that doesn't have exam because I don't perform well under pressure. I'm more a coursework person and all of my coursework has a deducted word count now, which is good I guess. I think the marking would be more lenient too because of this online environment and because of this drastic adaptation many students have to face. They do take into account of that but it is only my department, the sociological department I could speak for because I know my boyfriend he studies engineering and none of his like assessment assignment has changed so it's like the same so for me it has changed to be easier technically but um I don't know about every single one since my boyfriend's department says otherwise. And one thing I've also noticed is that I don't have any group projects anymore because of the shift to online learning. And as as I said, if this is just sociological department since I studied digital media and society. I used to have group project every single year. From year one to year two, I've had group project every single semester, at least one group project from one of the module. But from my third year of studying, I haven't had one single group project. And I feel like that is because of Corona and you can't really meet people face to face, which makes group projects harder. But then my boyfriend's course is otherwise, he still have group project, which was so frustrating for him. It was really hard for him to communicate with his group mates and stuff like that. So I guess I'm pretty lucky that my department really taken account of students' mental health and well-being and made, it, made the semester a lot easier. I don't wanna say a lot easier, but easier and more manageable to finish um and get the grades you deserve because as i said group project is just so hard to actually do right now therefore i'm glad that we don't have that
for me every single one of my lectures are recorded now and um before i only get few recorded lectures some you have to attend and it will not be recorded therefore it makes sure you attend every single one of them but now because everything has shifted online and because of time difference most of the things are recorded so that means that i don't have to watch lectures live if i don't want to but since i am in the uk i do try to like stick with my schedule and watch the lectures live because if i have question i could at, pop it in the discussion box and the lecturer will answer instantly but if you watch it like pre-recorded you can't really do that and i'm not living in a different time zone as when the lecture happens so might as well just take the advantage and that is also really good i think everything is pre-recorded which makes it really handy for um, international students like people that lives in different time zones and me as well actually i think that like, if i want to rewatch something it's always there if sometimes if a lecturer just go through material too quickly i can just go back and rewatch, which is always handy Another thing I wrote down is that um, COVID had made has made it harder to conduct my dissertation research. So I am a third year student, therefore I'm writing my dissertation. And one of that part is for me to do research, some practical research. One of the practical researches I am doing is um, conducting interviews. Interview is kind of tricky because everything has to be on Google Meet or Zoom call and everything and it's just d different from being in person and when you talk to a person in real life it's just different. I find this kind of challenging just to find participants that wants to do that through a video call is difficult as well. I think people just find it more natural to have an uh, interview with you in real life instead of through a camera lens so that is something that I've been struggling to do but I found a few really helpful friends and also viewers that are willing to help me to just answer some of my questions on a call which I am really thankful for so um, you know who you are if you've participated in my interview I just want to say thank you so much last thing I just wanted to say is overall I think I have more time in my day because I have less things to do I can't really go out and eat in restaurants I can't really go out to amusement park I go, can't go to watch movies I can't go out clubbing I can't really do anything so which means I have so much time for me to focus on my academics that is something my parents emphasize as well whenever I call them they'll be like oh since you have so much time just use this time to just embrace yourself improve yourself and just focus on your academics which I totally agree it is a great idea I think if you look at this lockdown in a positive light you earn so much time for yourself and how you use that time is up to you but I try to do a lot of academic work and I feel like throughout the first semester of being in an online university being in the UK lockdown I've reduced work so much faster because I have so much time to do it and there to the point where there's nothing else to do so I just might as well just do some university work therefore I literally finished my two assessment a month before the deadline because that was how much time I had and I just it just really wasn't me trying to work faster i just spent more time on it since i don't i spent less time on other things so yeah that is something that is good i guess i've also checked my timetable for my second semester which is happening uh next month i only have two hours of lectures a week i don't know what is happening but just my time that i get for lectures are just going downhill i do wish i have more lectures to watch because as i said i get really bored and i rather have more content being produced and i've paid so much and i only get two hours of lectures a week which is just insane i remember in first year i get like more than eight hours a week and now i just get two hours a week it's just i don't know if it's because i'm a final year student or it's because everything is turning virtual so people are slacking off i don't know but i hope it's not the latter but to end this video i first hope you find it helpful if you have any questions feel free to just leave it down in the description box i would be more than happy to answer any question i answer all the comments if you did notice but i just want to throw out some tips for you to prepare for your online university next year or next semester which is first uh just be mentally prepared that it's it will be different and make a routine for it don't shock yourself with how different it will be because it will be better if you know already and after watching this video i feel like you would have a better idea on what to expect also as i said take advantage of the extra time you have see it in a positive light try your best to if you can't you know don't worry because i know everyone is in a different situation i'm really grateful that i can use that time to do most uni work but some people just rather use that time to do other things because some people might have a bad mental state and i just rather you not always do academic work do something that makes you happy but 
look at the extra time you have as a gift and use that to just improve yourself and treat yourself to something nice find something you like to do and just invest time in it try to communicate with your lecturers online now i guess it is in a way less daunting because you don't have to see them face to face i type out so many emails now because that is the only way i reach out to professor which is the way i prefer anyway i think just booking into a face-to-face -face office hour is just kind of daunting overall so i think writing email is a good way to communicate it just allows you time to think before you send out the email and it's just always a bit comforting but yeah i hope this video isn't boring I try, i'm gonna try to like present most of my things visually so i'm gonna add a lot of overlay throughout this video just to make you understand what i'm trying to project and share with you guys but anyway that is it i think that is all i wanted to say and that is basically what i feel about my first semester of my final year everything is going well i actually i will know until i get my results back and see if i'm actually doing well right now i think my academic is not sliding down it's not going downhill it's fine but um, i of course will do another video of me sharing my results from my assessment when it comes out which probably in three to four weeks from now so yeah fingers crossed and um take care of yourself i'll see you guys next week bye